Well, researchers on Vancouver Island say the information you can find in a single drop of blood could hold the key to saving thousands of lives, and they've been just given $10 million to help prove that. The research project will focus on stroke patients and developing a quick, inexpensive test that will accurately diagnose a minor stroke. As CTV's Aaron Glazier shows us tonight, it would ease the healthcare system's burden, provide better care, and would potentially save lives. Moses Pimentel is one of the lucky ones. You know, saving lives and... Sorry, I'm a little choked up. <laughs> he is alive today because instead of a full-blown stroke, he suffered something called a transient ischemic attack, or TIA. If you were to think of stroke as an earthquake, then TIA is that rumbling that you might hear before the earthquake. It took expensive neuroimaging technology, a CT scan, to diagnose him. But neurologist Dr. Andrew Penn thinks there's a faster, cheaper, better way to get the same answers. He says all it will take is a single drop of blood. When we have a blood test, we won't need, we'll, there won't be as much draw on this technology. To make that happen, the Vancouver Island Health Authority will undertake the biggest research project in its history. Genome BC will foot most of the bill, putting up $10 million. With the help of genetic experts, the group hopes to identify the markers of TIA. I have every confidence that once this group finds that set of markers, that it will quickly move from you know, the bench to the bedside uh, in terms of it being uh, clinically, uh, clinically applicable. And that means saving lives. Early diagnosis of TIA followed by proper treatment could prevent four out of five cases from developing into full-blown strokes. The test would also weed out TIA mimics such as migraines. So that the right person gets the right treatment at the right time. Vancouver Island offers an ideal setting for the project, with 750,000 people all served by one health authority. It allows us to be able to gather a huge amount of data to do these complicated pattern recognition algorithms to sort out what proteins are going to be associated with TIA. Because minor or major strokes are devastating to our health care system. They are the number one cause of disability among adults. And long term, stroke patients are the biggest strain on our health care system. Viha hopes the new Stroke Rapid Assessment Center here will be up and running within a year and take the capacity to see patients from one assessment room and one office up to six assessment rooms and four offices. A world class research facility with a stroke of genius and a goal to save lives. It's a new lease on life, so. A lease soon to be extended to stroke patients all over Vancouver Island. Aaron Glazier, CTV News, View Royal.